Thank you very much, Mr. President. I support the environmental goals for 2020, but I have some serious doubts about some methods. The Copenhagen Conference was a good example of a bad method. And what were the lessons? The conference was too massive to be productive. A rock concert of 50,000 people is possible, a meeting not. And secondly, Europe was outfoxed by China and India, and the, and the US joined in. Instead of being a decisive player, the EU was a confused spectator. Now what should we do? I think we have to reassess the form we used, rather the G20 than an event of Woodstock proportions. Secondly, we have to stop displaying moral arrogance by telling China and India what to do. Importing barriers to punish both countries would be disastrous. On the contrary, the EU should re-examine its stand alone that will ultimately undermine our own growth and employment. And finally, we need serious research on the body of evidence. Climate gate was already a reminder, and the claim that the Himalayan glaciers are retreating now seems to be based on speculation. Some members of the IPCC now even predict global cooling. We need objective, impartial, scientific research and not agenda-driven political activism. What is true and what is not? Now we simply don't know and I think we need to have the facts right first. And Mr. Commissioner, Mrs. Minister, I hope you will look at these questions with an open mind. Thank you. Gracias.